Welcome, this is Black Lotus, your YouTube script kitty, and I will be showing you how to convert an XML file to CSV in Python. So I have this data set that I generated from Makaroo.com. It is a data set and it has various records. And all these records have the same fields and the values for each one in between them. So this one, this record goes from here to here and has first name, last name, and various other data. And the goal is to convert that to a CSV. So to do this in Python, we'll first need to import a couple of modules. So we'll first import CSV. And we'll need uh, an XML uh, parser. So we'll, we can get that from the elementary class. And you do that by importing xml.etree.elementary. And I will import that as ET. So I'm going to set this up similar to the way I converted the JSON file to CSV. Uh, but this time I'll go ahead and start off by defining my function XML to CSV. And I'll just use the same uh, variable names that I used for the JSON converter. In this case, file path and CSV name. And the convention here is to uh, set up your object with the name tree, so et.parse, and then we'll pass in file path. And from our tree, we can extract the top root node. And we do that by calling get root. So we'll go ahead and set up our context manager for our CSV. We'll call, uh, we'll just put in CSV name and we'll open it in write mode. And we'll give it the title CSV file. We'll go ahead and set up our CSV writer. And now I want to find a way to get the headers. Since every record has the same number of fields, uh, we can call those fields uh, the children or child. Each one is a child. And we can just get the essentially the headers from any one of them. So I'll go ahead and just grab the first uh, subroot in our root and call those our headers. Okay, and I'll immediately write the headers to our CSV file. And now I want to go through the entire the entirety of the XML file. And for each record, I want to uh, grab the values or the text from each of those tags. So I need to set up the maximum uh, number of records. So if to do that, we can just declare a, val a variable called number of records and call a length on the root. And we'll set up our loop. And we'll say each one is called a record or rec for short, and we'll generate each of the values. And then we'll go ahead and write the, uh, the record into the CSV file. Now we'll go ahead and separate out the, uh, the function from the rest of the module. And again, I'm going to set this up in the same way I did the JSON to CSV file. Uh, and for that, I use sys and pathlib. OK. 
Okay, I'll set up my try block uh, with an exception of index error. Uh, it will be an index error because if you do not provide an argument for sys, that's what the error throws. And within the try, we'll say file path equal to sys.arg. And the CSV name will be our sys.arg of two. And finally, uh, if the file exists, we'll go ahead and invoke the XML to CSV module or method. And if it doesn't, we'll just simply exit the script. And since uh, pathlet.path is has both an enter and an exit method, we'll set up a context manager for that. Once again, if it's not in the computer, we'll say sys.exits did not find file. Okay, that should work. Let's give it a go. And we'll say Python 3. And we'll f XML to CSV. We'll give it our XML path. And for the name, we'll say XML or yeah, XML to or test from XML. CSV. Okay, that worked and was generated. And there is the CSV. We have our headers. Uh, the first one in this data set, this mock data set, is Griselda Ketman. And the last one will be Derek Nesquik. So let's just double check. Griselda the last name is Ketman, and the last record in this XML file was Derek Nesquik, and so that worked. Okay, here is the code, and thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it.